San Francisco, people are returning to the city this Memorial Day weekend, and one of the hot spots is Pier 39 and Fisherman's Wharf. But it's not just tourists flocking to the area. KPX 5's Dalen live at the wharf, and he shows us that dozens of illegal vendors have set up shop there. Da. Roy, Brian, it's like a giant flea market out here. Everything and anything you want to find, they have it here. You want $5 shots? They've got it here. You want Gucci knockoff bags? They've got it here as well. The problem here is they're, these are all illegal vendors, and the nearby merchants are fed up. The tourists are back, and it's hard to walk down Fisherman's Wharf without bumping into people. The crowd's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Good news for the merchants after a year of lockdown. Problem is a lot of tourists are going to the illegal vendors across the street. So a lot of people here is really crowd and all that, but people walking in the other side of the street, which is a little bit hard for us. Carlos Salazar manages Mango Crazy. He says it's a double whammy. First the pandemic, now the illegal vendors. They're struggling with the expense of rents and utilities. They're taking almost like 60 or 65 percent of the, the sales from us. The visitors are spending big money on clothes, jewelry, and even alcohol at the unpermitted market. And about half a dozen tents sell shots, cocktails, and beer. There's no ID checking, so literally a minor could walk up there and buy alcohol. And the, the alcohol is a due factor. They, they've taken it to the next level. Randall Scott is with the Fishman's Wharf District, which represents about 300 merchants. He's been fighting this issue for the last two years, but the problem has escalated in recent months. Aside from the alcohol, food vendors are cooking with propane tanks, and there's no place for them to wash their hands. One is having to abide by all the health and safety regulations, and the other one is not. So. It, I would call it an unfair business practice. Businesses have complained to the city and the state, but a 2018 state law prevents the Port of San Francisco from criminalizing these vendors along the waterfront. The port tells me they've been providing education, warning, and multilingual notification flyers to the vendors. The vendors ignore them. So Supervisor Aaron Peskin introduced the legislation last week to start a pilot program for permitting and regulating these vendors. The mayor's office tells me today they will work with the supervisor to resolve the issue quickly. Many of the vendors are non-English speakers. Some were laid off during the pandemic. They say they're trying to survive like everybody else. The sign of the times, right? The stores over there are closed. We have this market over here. This is actually what I love. I love like a farmer's market setting. Die if that pilot program is approved, are, are those vendors going to be allowed uh, to sell alcohol or food? Right, so the supervisors, uh, they will have to vote on that pilot program. If it does go through, only clothes and merchandise. Folks selling food, selling alcohol, like right there, uh, those folks will not be allowed uh, to, to participate with that new pilot program. By the way, just as we're getting shots today, these uh, alcohol vendors are very smart about it. They see the cameras, they'll hide the alcohol when we're getting shots of them, uh, getting footage of them actually uh, pouring shots and pouring out drinks. So uh, very interesting uh, out here today, for sure. Yeah, amazing what a camera can do at uh, the Embarcadero. That's Dalen. Uh, thank you.